what is up YouTube world right so we're gonna talk a little bit real quick about what I've been doing and what I have accomplished <laughs> so a while back ago I've been going through some hard times and to help me out with them hard times I went and got a lot of fish tanks had about eight running cichlid tank and this type of tank and small fish tank and crayfish tank and I even had a tank with a water dog in it. All types of cool tanks. <laughs> but I never wanted that many tanks. I was just going through a hard time. I wanted to keep things keep things uh, keep things off of my mind and I used fish tanks to help me do that. I love fish tanks but I never wanted that many. I always wanted a solid fresh water tank and a solid salt water tank. It was always my dream and to have it and one day be maybe 600 pounds, you know, like 6 feet long, 8 feet long, 4 feet wide, nice wide, good sized tank. But alrighty, what I have I accomplished, I managed to shut down a few tanks. So, I want to only have the salt and the fresh, but I have fish that I really endure. Like the electric blue crayfish that you see, no, no, electric blue carter, my fault. I was thinking about the crayfish for there a second. But I really adore these guys. I love them to death. And I had a male before in the community tank, and he was a baby, and he grew up with a goldfish, and everything went really well. But then, um, you know, I found it, I found a female and everything, I put him in a different tank. He ended up getting even bigger. He's a good four inches. And I put him in here and with the goldfish and he ended up like starting to bite on the tail and I was like, we can't have that. What is wrong with you, buddy? You got bit on the side, didn't you? Look at you. You need to go in the quarantine tank. I need to save that fish. I'm glad I've been recording. How are you looking? You looking okay? Yeah, you looking okay. You're not looking out. You look like you got messed up on the side there, bud. What happened there? Wow, you got you got hit good. It looks like a bite. Anyways, that might have been the uh, electric blue Ricardo, the male biting him. But he always bit the goldfish tail. So they're actually in a quarantine tank, and um, quarantine tanks are definitely important. Cory pandas being cute. But anyways. So I managed to get it down to three tanks, basically. I know there's a swamp, and that's considered a tank, you know, so this is still two tanks. But whatever. I consider this one unit. Anyways, I managed to get it down to three tanks. And the parents have their own 30-gallon tank, which used to be a crayfish tank, which I'm going to make another video about that. Just talk about what I've been kind of doing and stuff like that. Oh, give me one minute, phone's ringing. Alrighty, I am back. That was actually a long conversation on the phone, and I forgot what we were talking about of uh, this whole setup. But I was basically talking about I got it all set down to three tanks, and one tank is a cichlid tank. A one tank is what is a cichlid tank with the parents of the electric blue carters in it. Just the two fish. That's it. I'm gonna make another separate video about that. What I do is that tank, and then we got this tank which I'm going to make a separate video talking about what's all going on here. It's looking pretty amazing, but we did have a pretty um, sad accident happen, I imagine, uh, when I changed the substrate and everything. It actually had a couple losses. And we talk about all that. And then we will talk about the saltwater tank as well. Talk a little bit about what's going on with it and all the cool stuff. So I'm really proud of myself. I managed to shut down a few tanks. I'm really fond of the electric blue Cardas but I can't have them biting on my goldfish. The goldfish will go back in here probably by the end of tonight or end of the day and go back in here because they were getting treated for about six days. All right. All right, YouTube, this is just a quick video about what I've been doing with the hobby and getting the tank shut down a little bit there and there. And um, hopefully one day when I actually get my own real house and not living in an apartment, I can actually build a aquarium about 600 gallons dream will come true and then um, he's actually going to go into a quarantine tank I'm going to get him out of there here in a minute after this recording I'm putting him in a quarantine tank it looks like he got bit 
That looks like a bad bite, bro. He might be actually okay. I might just leave. I don't know. I gotta decide. But that looks like a pretty bad bite. But alright, you two, before we go off the subject here too much, that's what I've been doing. Alright, I wish everybody an awesome night and y'all be good. Laters.